Alveolar osteitis, or dry socket, is a severe pain that occurs in patients after the extraction of a tooth. Now, it's going to happen to you eventually if you're taking teeth out, so you need to know how to manage it. And in this video, I'm going to show you my protocol for managing a dry socket in my office. We're also going to look at the causes of dry socket, the diagnosis of a dry socket, and the course of treatment. So basically how long this lasts and basically when it's going to resolve. So first off, how do we diagnose a dry socket? Well, a dry socket is usually diagnosed when a patient presents to you and they tell you they are having severe pain. You've just taken a tooth out maybe three or four days ago. That's the typical onset of the symptoms. And they might even say to you, you know what, doc? You took that tooth out and everything was great. Came out nice. I went home. Things felt good. And I woke up this morning, though, and man, is it sore. And it's now, like I said, three or four days later. So... They're taking Advil, they're taking Tylenol, nothing is touching the pain. They have a pulsatile throbbing pain that is often radiating over to the ear or up to the eye, depending where that socket is, and they may have a foul taste or a foul odor that is emanating from that socket. When you look down in there and you see where that tooth was, you're going to see an empty socket, a dry socket. And it is going to be yellowish gray tissue, just necrotic tissue and food debris that's in there. It does not look healthy, and around the edges of there, you're going to see some red, inflamed, angry tissue. 